Thinking of starting a ketogenic diet? If you've been looking for a way to burn fat, get ripped, or regulate your hormones, you've probably heard that the keto diet can help. We'll discuss the top 5 mistakes people make when they're starting the ketogenic diet, and give you tips to overcome them. Avoid these common keto mistakes to make your transition as smooth as possible. Mistake number 1. You're not eating enough fat. The intention of the keto diet is to force the body to run on fat, as opposed to glycogen, sourced from carbs. When the body reaches this stage, it's called ketosis. As a result, you need to be eating a significant amount of fat. Chances are, you could actually be underestimating how much fat you're consuming as well. The exact macronutrient ratio will differ from person to person. General guidelines stipulate 60 to 75% of your food should be from fat, 15 to 30% from protein, and 5 to 10% from carbohydrates. To work out your personalized split, try using an online calculator. It's a good idea to plan your meals and moderate your fat intake until you can estimate the number of fats in your meals by eyeballing portions. As you adjust your diet, it's a good idea to measure your ketones to ensure you're entering ketosis. Ketosis is a delicate balance, and you can throw yourself out of it unknowingly. If you fall out of ketosis, you could sabotage your entire diet without even knowing it. To know if you're in ketosis, you must measure your ketones. If you're not, then you're just guessing. There are three ways to measure your ketones. 1. Urine tests measure acetoacetate. This test will tell how you many ketones are being passed into your urine, so it's useful as you're starting keto. However, after a couple of weeks, you stop excreting acetoacetate, so you'll need another method to ensure you're still in ketosis. 2. Breath tests measure acetone. This is often referred to as the sweetness that's on your breath. While this test is quick and doesn't require you pee on a strip, it's hard to get consistent results. 3. Blood tests are the most accurate way to test if you're in ketosis. You can do these tests at home by pricking your finger and using the appropriate device. Mistake number 2. You're eating too much saturated fat. One of the common keto diet mistakes that people make is eating too much saturated and trans fats. Yes, the keto diet is a high-fat diet, but there is still a difference between the types of fats that you should eat. Healthy fats are the ones that should make the up the most of your fat intake. The American Heart Association recommends that you limit your saturated fat intake. Too much saturated fat can increase your bad cholesterol and, therefore, your risk of heart disease and type 2 diabetes. While it is impossible to completely eliminate saturated fat from your diet, don't let it make up the majority of your diet. On the other hand, healthy fats, which are monounsaturated fat and polyunsaturated fats, are the ones that raise your good cholesterol. So, stock up on your nuts, avocado, and fatty fish intake. Your body will thank you for it. We've been trained to be afraid of fat, but that doesn't need to be the case, especially on the keto diet. Again, the key is consuming the right types of fats. According to doctors and nutritionists, including Kelly Kennedy, Road, some of the best fat sources you should be consuming on this diet include, wild-caught salmon, olives, avocados, nuts, olive oil, MCT oil, coconut butter, grass-fed beef tallow oil, ghee. The fats that you should avoid at all costs are, 1. Vegetable and canola oils, they are high in omega-6 fats, and they oxidize and become rancid. These oils also contain trans fats, which raise your bad LDL cholesterol and increase your risk of coronary artery disease. Foods containing trans fats include many processed foods. 2. Dairy, this food group is thought to cause inflammation, acne, allergies, skin conditions like eczema, congestion, asthma, sinusitis, IBS, constipation, and weight gain. Mark Hyman, MD, warns that dairy is only a suitable item to consume if you're a calf. Mistake number 3. You're consuming too much protein. The keto diet typically stipulates moderate protein. Another one of the common keto diet mistakes people make is consuming too much protein. This hinders the ability to enter a state of ketosis because excess protein will be converted to glucose by the body, which you don't want on a keto diet. Additionally, in general, consuming too much protein may cause kidney issues so make sure you have a good kidney support. 
Like with your fat intake, monitor your protein intake to make sure that you're eating the right amount of protein for you. You don't want to go to all this work to limit carbs and increase fat, only to derail your progress because of your protein intake. Many nutritionists believe that if you eat too much protein, it results in gluconeogenesis and your blood sugar spikes. While this is true, what's important to note is that in the absence of carbs, both protein and fat intake can cause GNG. Mistake number 4. You're avoiding fruit and vegetables. Too many people focus on restricting carb intake to the point where they don't eat their vegetables. Don't do this. Vegetables are critical to your health, even if you're on the keto diet. They also contain micronutrients and fiber, so you don't want to miss out on them. Make sure that you're eating your veggies, especially the non-starchy kinds. Cauliflower, broccoli, zucchini, and mushrooms are great options. Fruit also becomes the enemy for people following a low-carb diet. But, just like with vegetables, they are an important factor in your health. While some fruits are higher in carbs, there are also alternatives, such as berries, that are delicious and are low in carbs. Eating your servings of whole foods, such as fruit and vegetables, is important. Don't just rely on products that are marketed as keto-friendly, because chances are, they are also processed. Mistake number 5. You're not drinking enough water. Due to the restriction of carbs, you lose a lot of water in the body. So, make sure that you drink more water to prevent dehydration. Make sure to up your water intake if you're feeling stopped up. Start by drinking 64 ounces of water a day, and then increase it if you're still not regular after a few days. Keep your water bottle on you at all times, as it's easy to get sidetracked and forget to drink. Don't let your thirst be the only indicator to have some water. If you're thirsty, it means that you're already getting dehydrated, and we want to avoid going down this path. 